Hi, we are undergoing strange times during this coronavirus outbreak. We are holding you dear in our thoughts during this difficult and uncertain period. Apart from the chaos the virus has created, it has also caused mass panic and fear. It's affected how we live, how we think, and how we behave. The virus is here, and the situation is real. There's not much we can do about it. Life gives no one immunity against adversity, but life gives to everyone the power of positive thought, which is sufficient to master all circumstances of adversity and convert them into benefits. How can we remain positive in such trying times? I would like to share with you a way that has allowed me to face such moments. The secret is gratitude. The attitude of gratitude is paramount. Gratitude is feeling thankful. The habit of gratitude can greatly help the feelings of inner peace and improve self-awareness. It connects us to the present moment, uplifts our spirit, and feeds our heart. It is also the antidote to fear. You simply cannot feel gratitude and fear at the same time. It doesn't mean settling for less or not making every effort to take safety precautions. Quite the opposite. It is appreciating, loving what we have while dreaming of the future of when we'll be safe again. Life throws us curveballs from time to time, some small, some large. We may not be able to choose what situations may bring, but we can certainly choose how we think. No matter what or how we think, the external world remains unaffected. However, our internal world is ours to decide. If we have forgotten to be thankful to our lives, our family, those that surround us, our achievements, our failures, and our unpursued dreams, now is the time to rectify that. Tell them, tell ourselves, write them a letter, proclaim it, and announce it. We may be fearful and stressed only if we allow it. We may lose loved ones, we may fall sick, businesses may be affected, and what we took for granted may be taken away from us. The future is uncertain. What is certain is what we have right before our eyes now and within our reach. Be grateful. Our lives will be changed, directly or indirectly. There is no doubt about it. Only in mid-March, I was in a usually busy like mad Japanese restaurant in Totnes, and now it is shut. Small businesses like Amity that rely on daily footfall and turnover are going to be affected greatly. It is certain that many businesses will fail and shut down because of this. Social distancing is essential. Emotional distancing is not. Be mindful. Be kind. Remember that there are still many things in the world that deserve our concern, our energy, and our time. The virus has done enough damage by taking many lives around the world already. Let's not give it permission to cause more harm in our internal world, our mind. Keep the faith. Be grateful. Take care of yourself and those around you. Balance being living like there's no tomorrow with behaving like you live forever. Wishing you all the best in health, heart, mind and soul. Be safe, stay home. This is Amity.